Hey, race fans and fellow sports fans alike, Mike here, and, well, last night I was shocked and dismayed by what I read. This is per Sporting News, and you're going to want to see this. NASCAR driver Kyle Larson has just been suspended for using a racial slur on an iRacing live stream. This is per Dan Bernstein of Sporting News. Yeah. This has been updated today. He has, been, he has been suspended by Chip Ganassi Racing after he supposedly said the N-word during a live stream of an iRacing event Sunday. Now, I did not watch Monza Madness. But I heard it was pretty fun. It was a great race. And no cautions. But the point was just to have fun during these troubled times we're living in right now. Purdy article, apparently not realizing he was speaking to the entire group of drivers rather than just his spotter, so he was on public chat, not just his, spot, not his spotter chat, Larson can be heard saying the supposed racial slur. Justin Bothelho, I believe I'm pronouncing that right, the host of the stream, said, Oh, damn, he did not just say that. Now, I am going to pull up the iRacing clip of the incident. So let's do that right now. Okay. Yeah, he did just say that. Oh my god. Anyway. So, going back to the article, NASCAR said in a statement Monday, today, that it is aware of insensitive language used by a driver in an iRacing event on Sunday, yesterday and is currently gathering more information. Ganassi Racing, who owns the 42 driven by Larson, said it has suspended Larson indefinitely. And the statement was, We are extremely disappointed by what Kyle said last night during an iRacing event. Words that he chose to use are offensive and unacceptable. As of this moment, we are suspending Kyle without pay. Now, Larson has not made any comments publicly about the incident. His sponsors, McDonald's and Credit One Bank, have not responded to requests for comment. So, we are waiting to hear from McDonald's and Credit One Bank, Kyle's sponsors. It is much easier to find a driver than it is to get sponsorship for a race car. Kyle Larson brings in sponsorship, as evidenced by McDonald's and Credit One Bank, sponsoring Kyle Larson. Now, this incident likely favors Ross Chastain in his waiting game for a cup ride. As you know, what happened with Ross Chastain is that he had DC Solar as a sponsor for the 2019 uh, Xfinity season, but just before the season, DC Solar got raided. So, he was without a cup ride, not a cup ride, Xfinity ride, until Colleague Racing stepped in and 
gave him the Xfinity ride. Now he has a cup ride now, but that's just until Brian Newman recovers from his Daytona 500 crash. So that's why I think this incident favors Ross Chastain. Going over NASCAR's behavioral policy, it states that NASCAR members shall not make or cause to be made a public statement and or communication that criticizes, ridicules, or otherwise disparages another person based on that person's race, sex, color, creed, national origin, or gender, marital status, religion, race, or handicapping situation. Actions that could result in a fine or suspension or termination include public statement and or communication that criticizes, ridicules, or otherwise disparages another person. That falls under that. I'm not sure if I like the Ganassi response to this without first hearing from the sponsors and from Kyle. But I do believe that this is a preemptive measure. So, this is both good and bad for both Ganassi and Kyle. Good because Ganassi thought three moves ahead of NASCAR. Good for Kyle because he needs to learn from his mistake. And again, I'm not part of cancel culture. I'm not canceling Kyle. I've never been a part of cancel culture. So, I'm hoping for the best for Kyle Larson in this situation. I'm hoping that he can bounce back from this and he will be able to find a cup ride for 2021 and possibly get back in the car at some point during the 2020 season whenever it restarts. That's my stance on this whole situation. Your mileage may vary on this, but that's my stance. Now, where I think this came from is because of this whole COVID-19 outbreak, basically stopping all sports, including NASCAR, with this extended layover, I think cabin fever may have finally gotten to Kyle Larson. Another theory that I have is that perhaps Bubba Wallace may be getting back at him for an incident in a past iRacing event where he rage quit and it cost him one of his sponsors. So this may be a revenge scheme by Bubba Wallace to frame Kyle Larson. Once again, your mileage may vary on this situation, but that's what I believe. Leave your theories and what you think will happen to Kyle Larson in the comments below. I'm going to be pulling into the garage for now. I will see you in the next one. Rock on, everyone. Rock on.